Television has a new voice of reason with the financial wisdom of Susie Orman and the wit of Medea. How much was that purse? The purse, 600. So how much money do you have in there right now? I have three credit cards. And okay, maybe... how much money do you have in the purse right now? It's an easy, simple question, Mrs. Jones. Is it zero? Yes. Okay, let me help you understand the universal purse test. If the purse costs more than the amount of money you can keep in it on a regular basis, leave it on the rack. She can't pay rent on time. Her bills are always late. It's spiraling out of control. I'm a dancer at a gentleman's club. How much do you make a night? Eight, nine hundred. And how many nights a week do you work? Five or six. So you are making some dough. Where are you spending your money? I do not believe you stole $40 worth of food at Walmart and now you are thousands of dollars in trouble. Tell me that's not true. Oh, it is true. Debtor's Court with Lynn Richardson. Miss Grace, I understand you want to bring a debtor's court grievance against your roommate and Correct. friend, Miss Hudson. Tell me what's happening. She doesn't know how to spend money. She's Look always... At me. Sorry. Recklessly spending it. She can't pay rent on time. It, her bills are always late. Everything, it's spiraling out of control. And it's starting to take a toll on my life also. How is it taking a toll on your life? Um... I feel like I have to take care of her like a mom and she she doesn't really like think about anyone else around her and it's always just Ray, Ray, Ray. Who, so. Who's Ray? Ray? Tell me, Ray, Ray, Ray. What's that? Rachel. Rachel. Okay, so that's her nickname. Yes. Okay, so how are you taking care of her? Are you actually paying things for her that well, she's not paying you back for? Tell me exactly what's happening. Yes, okay, so when we go out, I will pay the bill, and then we divide everything, right? And half of the time, like, she won't pay me back, or um, she'll say that, oh, like, I have to go to work, and then I'll pay you, doesn't pay me. I feel like I am taking care of her like a mom, and... I am having to work more and financially support someone else. If I wanted to do that, I would have had a kid. And she stole from Walmart $40 worth of food when we were going on a trip, and I spent $200 that day for food for us to go, and she went and did that, and then got in a bunch of trouble, and now she owes a lot of money for legal fees and stuff like that. And then she moved in with me, and ever since, like, the same stuff has been happening, and I thought that it would be able to get a little bit better, at least. And I try to give her as much advice as I can, but nothing has changed. So she couldn't pay rent at her place, and you thought she'd pay rent at yours? Well, I didn't originally tell her that she had to pay any money at all. I told her that she could come stay with me for a few weeks for free, it doesn't matter, and then look for a place in the meantime. And When did Miss Hudson to... move in with you? Um, about two months ago. Two months ago. So she yeah. moved in two months ago. And at what point did you tell her she had to start paying rent? About a month ago. About a month ago. Yeah. Are you sure? So she moved in. Give me the date. The end of July. End of July. So yes. she moved in end of July. Yes. So it hasn't been two months yet. You didn't tell her that she had to pay rent when she moved in. Not initially. Okay. And so what date did you tell her she had to start paying rent? Because it wasn't effective August 1st. So as of when would she have to start paying rent? Um, after she was, uh, mm. I think you're lying. Tell me your story. Um, no, I did move into her house. Um, she said that I could stay there for a little bit until I found another place to live, yada, yada. Um, and I think she just trusted just because we we're friends, also had a friendship there. Um, when she did start telling me to pay rent, I've always paid her the rent. Like she said, um, there were a few, there were... Because I don't pay it all in one payment. I just randomly will pay for stuff or, or give her $100 or this or that. There was never like a, a set number to give her and a set date. Um, so it's a little unorganized. And then on top of that, um, most, of the I I uh -uh. nope. most of the time I can't. Nope. Most of the time I can't. You couldn't um, say anything when I was asking you questions. So I think you need to be quiet now. Keep talking. Most of the time I cannot tell that she's upset about something because she doesn't come to me and say, you know, oh, um, you didn't pay me back for this or da 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 So um, most of the time I don't even know that there's a problem until So like what's the arrangement? Up. Do you have to pay rent or don't you? Yes. How much do you have to pay for rent? It should be about $300, it, $400 a month. It should be about $300 or $400 a month. What's right. vague about this? 
Money because is, it's not it's not a set like that's all I'm saying. It's been a very short amount of time that I've been there, so mm -hmm. we haven't had like, oh, you're gonna pay me this much on this date, and that's the end of the story. It's more like, here, I'm gonna give you money for this, or I'm gonna give you, you know, a percentage of what I made tonight at work or whatever. And it's just it's kind of unorganized. So what so kind of work do you do? Um, I'm a dancer. Where? At a gentleman's club. Aha. Uh -huh. How mm -hmm. much do you make a night? Mm, anywhere between three to like. Eight nine hundred. Three to eight hundred dollars per night. And how many nights a week do you work? A lot, probably like five or six. So you are making some dough. Mm -hmm. Where is it going? What are you doing with no, don't don't shrug your shoulders in here now. Where are you spending your money? Um I have my legal bills that I've been paying for. That's Okay, more tell me recent. about the legal bills. You have um, legal bills, why? What happened? Because so I do the, not believe you st stole $40 worth of food at Walmart and now you are thousands of dollars in trouble. That can't be. Tell me that's not true. Oh, it is true. It's true. It's Help me, true. Jesus. Help her today. <laughs> it's it's not true. funny. I know it's not. I'm so sorry. you stole $40 worth of food, why? Um, I had money stolen from me, which was my careless mistake. I left money in the car. And so I got about $2,500 to $3,000 stolen from me out of my car. And so there was a day or two there where I had no money. So I was, was this I was before hungry. or after you moved in with Miss Grace? Um, this was right before. This was right before right you moved before in with Grace? Right before we went on the trip that she was talking about. Okay, so mm -hmm. this was right before you moved in. Mm -hmm. The money got stolen from you. So you decided to go steal from somebody else. Yes. Is that what you decided to do? And what happened when you got locked up? Um, well, they made it into a bigger charge because um, there was loss prevention, which they, they kind of grabbed my arm. They weren't really, like, they weren't, I couldn't identify them. They were in normal clothing. So when someone grabbed my arm, I kind of pushed their arm off of me. So I guess if you have physical contact with someone, it's considered robbery. So it got carried into a much bigger thing. You did more than just push their arm off, didn't you? No, ma'am. That's all you did? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what are, your, what are the charges? Um, robbery. Robbery. So, which is considered a felony. So okay. I have to have a lawyer because I don't want to have a felony for stealing that much, you know. Uh, let me tell you, that would be so ridiculous to have mm -hmm. a felony that you have to pay thousands of dollars for yeah. over 40 bucks. So, what were you eating for $40, by the way? <laughs> um, it was like rice and snack bars and just like random things. Yeah. Okay, and you couldn't ask for help? Well, I live out here on my own, so I don't, I don't really have family, and then I didn't know anyone when I moved out here, and I moved to California probably about like eight, eight nine months ago. Was that a good idea to steal food from Walmart? No. Okay. I know it was wrong, absolutely. All right, so now you're making three to $800 a night. You're working mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you are spending your money on. So I owe, um, I have to have $5,000 for my lawyer. How much front. have you given your lawyer? Um, 2500 so far. You've given him 2500 yes. Okay. And then um, I also have... Um, student loans that I've been paying off, um, and then I also have um, my car insurance. You're actually paying your student loans? Yes, ma'am. Are you paying them on time? Um, for the most part. Are they in default? No. They are not in default? No. When was the last day you attended school? Um, that would be last. It's been, it's been about a year that I've been out of school, a year, year and a half. Okay. Are you going back? Yes, ma'am. When? Um, as soon as I'm considered a California resident. Okay. All right. So you've given your lawyer $2,500. You're paying how much on your student loans per month? Um, I've been paying just like 100 or 200 bucks. 100 to 200 And tell me, where's the rest of your money going and why can't you pay rent? Um, to have fun. What are you doing when you have fun? <laughs> um, just going on trips or... Tell me where you've been. Um, all over California, because when I first got here, I just wanted to explore. So I've been all over California. I went to Arizona recently. Oh, um, you're exploring. Yeah. And are you exploring responsibly? Sometimes, sometimes no. Tell me no. Tell me about the no. Um, maybe just not being the smartest. Like, say I have, like, 10 days to pay my bills and I have, like, half of it. Mm -hmm. I would still choose to take a three-day trip. And spend all the money that okay. she Okay, hey, 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 yes. you got to talk to me. You can't talk to her. <laughs> so you're spending the money, mm -hmm. going on trips, and then you're just expecting your roommate to pick up the slack whenever she, you don't uh, meet Most your Most of the time when that has happened, she's actually come to me and said, hey, I will let you borrow this amount of money. Give it to me when you can. 
So that's okay, so usually most why I don't time, know that there's something wrong. When you go on a trip, she mm. says, I'm going to loan you extra money to blow off? No, I'm not talking <clears> about <throat> if I have three days to pay my rent, I spend those three days going out and doing whatever. I mean, like, if I have, like, ten days to pay it and I have half, I'll go take, like, a three-day trip. And I expect that when I get back, I can make that money very quickly because in my line of work, it's quick. So. And do you, do you respect her judgment? Do you think that she's a, a good I role do. model? I do. I think she's very responsible, and I think she's a good friend. Okay, mm -hmm. so how much money do you owe her? As of right now, probably like, I believe like $300. $300. Mm -hmm. How much money does she owe you? I would say about the same, yeah. About $300. Yeah. Is that what you want? I'm not looking to take any money from her. I want her to change. Okay, she wants you to change. Are you ready to change? Yes, ma'am. What are you ready to do differently? Um... Maybe just have like a financial budget to be a little more organized. You want a budget. Do you and have a bank account? Yes. Okay. What else are you spending your money on in, uh, in addition to trips? Are you going on trips? You're exploring California. Right. Are you done exploring California? I mean, no, but I... Uh, uh, hello. Let me ask you again. Are yes. you done exploring... Okay. That's yeah. what I thought. You are done exploring mm -hmm. California. Repeat after me. I'm done. I am done. Exploring. Exploring. California. California. And everybody else. And everywhere else. And everywhere else. else. And everywhere okay. Else. Thank you. I agree with you. What else are you spending your money on? Um, I would say I eat out too much. That's probably that's. Expensive. Where are you? Where are you uh, eating? Um, I'm always in a rush, so I always just eat out. Where? Where's cooking. your favorite restaurant? Mm, I don't really have one. I guess I don't eat fast food though, so I'm kind of like a more picky eater than she is. Okay. So I think that's So what do you eat? You have to know what you eat. What do you eat? What did you eat today? What did you eat yesterday? Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Well, let me tell you something. Whole Foods is taking your whole check, okay? Mm -hmm. So I need you to back up a little bit. I need you to cook. I need you to be responsible with your debts. It doesn't seem like you have a grievance against your friend. Right. You just want her to be more responsible. Right. You're I willing to help, help her. Yeah. So I'm not exactly sure why you're here. But what I am going to do is put you in spending rehab. Mm -hmm. And you need to limit your miscellaneous traveling, spending on nonsense to about 30% of what you make. So if you make $3,000 in a month, limit it to $1,000. You've still got $2,000 to save, to pay your bills, and to do everything else, mm -hmm. okay? Can we agree on that? Yes, ma'am. Is there a counterclaim? Is there something that you need to tell me about your roommate? There is stuff, but I mean, it's not, she doesn't owe me any money or anything. Okay. But I mean, I wouldn't say she's the perfect roommate either. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, get it together and get out of my courtroom because I think you all have wasted my time and yours. You know better. You know what to do. Don't steal anything else from Walmart. It's not a good idea or any other store. Mm -hmm. And if she doesn't do her part, then I think you need to find a new roommate. It looks like you were doing well all by yourself. Okay. That's my ruling. Court with Lynn Richardson.